So Overwatch is listening to our feedback and Sojourn, Doofus, Ramatra, Roadhog, and Tracer are all receiving balance changes and a hotfix coming this week which is dope because they normally need about two weeks in order to get some changes like these made. Also, considering the season just started a week ago, this is pretty quick for them. But before we get into the video, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. If you guys want to catch me live, I do stream nearly every day on Twitch. And let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Yeah, Aaron Keller, who's the game director of Overwatch 2, recently tweeted that they're going to be making balance changes in a hotfix to Sojourn, Doofus, Ramacha, Roadhog, and Tracer. Now, if you notice in the background footage, Sojourn is very much still playable. Now, I want to preface that even after these changes, she's probably still going to be playable. The issue is that maybe she isn't going to be as strong and felt as needed as she is now. I've seen some people say that with a Mercy Pocket, she's still kind of the same. Personally, don't think that's the case, considering that if you have to use a Mercy Pocket in order to buff a Sojourn, you're kind of taking that resource away from the other DPSer, which Sojourn was able to do on her own. Meaning the old Sojourn could simply just do things on her own and the Mercy Pocket could focus on the other DPSer, which would make the team overall more deadly. Regardless, it does look like they are going to be doing something to address her. If I had to guess, they're likely going to revert the primary rail damage and maybe change the charge up time. I personally still think her railgun needs a cooldown, but I don't think they're going to do that. Next for the two most obvious nerfs. First of all, Doomfist. Doomfist was recently buffed, placing him in a tier of his own. Like in a standard tier list, you have S, A, B, C, D. He transcends S, not even S+. Plus. He's literally deity. The man will jump in your face and give you the strongest overhand right and just completely end you. Doomfist's high mobility and his ability to just simply combo you to death without you having a chance to respond is really kind of crazy especially considering that he's a tank and tanks having this level of capability while also having a ton of health makes them incredibly difficult to deal with now i'm okay with him having the health that he has and getting the region that he has because he does need some sustainability as a tank the issue is that when you make him too overwhelmingly strong then it becomes just really oppressive and this is kind of the issue that we've gotten with just overall one shots in overwatch especially since overwatch 2 as now since the game is now 5v5 instead of 6v6 losing one member could be just simply a game changer in any team fight especially when it's a support player which is normally who the doomfist is going to dive on and the issue with one shots isn't just a doomfist exclusive thing Roadhog, who is also receiving some hotfix changes, also has this capability of just simply being able to one shot and just take someone out of the game, putting them back in the respawn with little to no effort. Like me, someone who literally never plays tank, I can hop on Roadhog, get easy hook kills and easy one shots just by simply knowing the combo. And that's only because playing him just isn't really that hard. He's too rewarding for as simple as he is. Honestly, some of the changes that I think that they're going to make to him is going to be something to do with his vape because the ability for him to be able to just gain 300 HP instantly and then also have a 50% damage reduction is pretty crazy. And I almost forgot to mention, Hog literally gets ult charge from using his vape too. So not only does he gain HP, he gets a 50% damage reduction and he gains ult charge from it. But then you have his hook, which has a massive hitbox on it and is way too easy to land for what it does. Honestly, with Orisa's Javelin, it does have a pretty big hitbox as well, but the fact that it throws the enemy further from her and not pulls them in makes it incredibly more fair. And then you have like Sigma's Accreation Rock, all forms of CC, but again, since Roadhog's hook brings you in, makes it really hard for you to escape because he normally is just going to one shot you 100 percent of the time he's just incredibly hard to deal with and way too powerful and personally it feels like sojourn doomfist and roadhog are ch changes that everyone kind of should have expected at least in the next patch we're just happening to get them sooner than later another one that is slightly expected for me is ramatra he's pretty bad and honestly he might be the kind of saving grace here as to why we're getting these other hot fixes now rather than later matcha should be available to play in competitive coming on the 20th so i think what they're trying to do is make him somewhat playable within our meta right now because currently ramacha just is not it he's really quite underwhelming which is really odd for overwatch because they're normal to over tuning someone instead of under tuning them furthermore both doomfist and roadhog give ramacha quite a difficult time to deal with and personally, I would love seeing him being played in competitive. It would shake things up, hopefully. But at his current state right now, he's really just not going to do anything. And lastly, we've got Tracer. Now, I've seen some people say that she's going to get nerfed based on damage wise, that they're going to revert her back. 
but I don't think that's the case because then at that point, what was the point of buffing her in the first place? Honestly, I think the only change that they're going to be making to Tracer is that currently there's a bug when Tracer's Pulse Bomb attaches directly to someone, it deals no damage, but then does damage to everyone around it, which is really just not how it's supposed to work at all. And I think this is an issue that they want to resolve, especially considering since they just buffed her, people have been playing her much more. And Tracer's ultimate is really already pretty underwhelming for the most part. And you'll find your time more times than not just getting solo picks with it. But, but if you can't attach it to him, it makes it even more underwhelming. This is honestly the only change that I can see them viably making to her. Anything else could end up making her even better more broken or just making her kind of useless again i don't think they change anything to the rewind and i don't think they change the blinks at all and that's pretty much all she has outside of damage so because of that i really do hope those are the only changes that they make to her because i do kind of like playing tracer and i just overall like seeing a wider variety of heroes being used during competitive but let me know what you guys think about these changes coming up in the comment section below and if you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content like this, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.